Hello and welcome to News Click. Nearly 140 countries today have abolished capital punishment or have stopped death penalty from being awarded. In 2007, the United Nations General Assembly had called upon countries which have not abolished death penalty to institute a moratorium. Yet in India, despite the Supreme Court saying that this punishment would be awarded only in the rarest of rare cases, close to 106 cases of death penalty have been instituted last year alone. We have with us here Advocate R. Vaigai, who practices in the Madras High Court and who has uh, appeared on behalf of three convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, Santan, Murugan and Perari Valan recently. Welcome to NewsClick. Uh, Advocate Vaigai, the uh, Madras High Court recently uh, stayed the execution of uh, the, the three convicts by eight weeks. Uh, apparently, the grounds was that uh, there has been an inordinate delay in uh, addressing their messy petitions that they had filed uh, close to 11 years ago. But uh, could you elaborate as, uh, as the lawyer uh, for them uh, the rationale behind uh, uh, this uh, um, stay? No, the rationale is, uh, see, any punishment ought to be, uh, first of all, the uh, uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 5 says that no person shall be subjected to torture or inhuman and cruel penalty also. So when you, I mean death penalty itself is a cruel penalty. Uh, you can't uh, brutalize it further by making a person wait for execution for several years and that is the logic and the Supreme Court has <coughs> Uh, said that firstly, unfortunately, our laws prescribe death penalty and therefore the court has said it is unable to uh, say death penalty shall, shall not be awarded. Uh, it has affirmed the constitutional validity of the provision which awards death penalty. But at the same time, it has confined the grant of death penalty or awarding death penalty to the rarest of rare cases, which again is not defined. Uh, supposing uh, something is very gruesome or something which is very abhorrent to human conscience, in such cases uh, it could be awarded. But again, the assessment changes from judges to judges. Therefore, in order to minimize the um, aggravated form of the penalty, the court uh, has laid down a rule saying that if you delay the execution beyond any reasonable period, uh, then uh, the um, prisoner is entitled to say that the execution shall not take place and that the penalty should be reduced to uh, life. Now what is a reasonable time that again is uh, a little flexible judgments some judges have said three months after the mercy petition some judges I mean courts have interfered after two years. Um, so, uh, or after six years or eight years, so it varies. Right. But, but any, by any archetic, uh, 11 years is too long a time. It's uh, too long. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. too long. Uh, uh, does death penalty at all seem to be a deterrent against the gruesome crimes or heinous crimes? Definitely not. Uh, it has been, uh, uh, in fact, the UN General Assembly called for a study on uh, capital punishment and its impact and the deterrent value thereof way back in 1958 and thereafter they have uh, uh, met seriously over the issue over a period of time every decade and in 2005 they uh, uh, concluded that it uh, has no deterrent value at all and on the other hand uh, it has resulted in execution of innocent people or people who have been denied fair trial or people who have been uh, uh, wrongly prosecuted. Uh, therefore, uh, the, the General Assembly uh, called for abolition. Several states by then had abolished. It started calling for moratorium. Yes. So 2005 onwards, periodically 2006, 2007 and 2008, they have asked for moratorium. Now today, uh, out of the 192 states, uh, Two-thirds of the countries have abolished or do not practice, uh, apply in practice. The whole of Europe, the whole of Central Asia except Belarus uh, have abolished death penalty. 
ironically the most populous country china and uh, possibly the most powerful country the united states they still continue to practice death penalty and also they do pretty frequently they do in mm. fact but in fact judges of the us supreme court have said that death penalty is pointless and it has not served any social purpose so uh, even in the americas south and north except united states all the other countries have abolished in india uh, we do have the provision of life imprisonment without remission so that makes it even expressly clear that uh, that penalty can be avoided and can be uh, should be abolished right in that sense yes see ultimately uh, you have to understand that uh, uh, people worldwide have jurists and uh, those in governance have realized that death penalty as a deterrent conceptually is not valid and therefore you have to think of the other purposes of penal regime namely reformation or uh, retribution of course has gone retribution cannot be applied at all because it is absolutely uncivilized now if it is not deterrent then you have to think of reformation reformation can happen only if the man is alive and therefore uh, you award life sentence and study the person's conduct over a period of time give him a chance to reform you mentioned uh, mentioned quickly that there is also the possibility of wrongful conviction now in a highly iniquitous class class society you know which is india is relatively so even now there is a higher possibility of wrongful conviction uh, especially uh, of people who belong to the lower uh, lower classes lower segments etc so that also makes it important that uh, that penalty should be abolished right yes in fact judges themselves have said that uh, nobody can be 100% sure in a case that uh, the conviction is right now if you are not 100% confident that the conviction is right uh, how do you justify taking away a person's life because it is an irreversible process so uh, Uh, judges left to themselves i do not think will award uh, capital punishment at all but uh, because the law mandates it and uh, of course there is an element of discretion there is a very minor school of judges who really want to avoid uh, death penalty people who have had long innings in the judiciary know the faults in the system know the kind of uh, uh, uh variations in assessment of evidence in presentation of the case in the lack of uh, legal representation for the uh, defense everything goes together uh, again we talked uh, a little bit about retribution you know although retribution does has no place in jurisprudence that's pretty clear yet uh, if you look, look at public discourse uh, in the country today when you talk about uh, the the rational behind death penalty or or its abolition you know people generally come up with this argument or especially victims you know they say that look uh, i have suffered such a big loss uh, and uh, x or y has been responsible for that and therefore uh, as retribution i have to uh, i mean i have to be satisfied with that penalty for x or y now uh, certainly there there are lacunae in this argument see if the victim says that killing uh, suffered by the family member is barbaric and savage i do not see how it becomes a civilized act just because the law mandates it so basically the argument is flawed secondly uh, see you have large scale violence these days taking place even state sponsored uh, terror like what happened in uh, gujarat which is still being probed now uh, supposing take for example what mr sanjay bhat has said hmm. sanjeev bhat the uh, police uh, officer uh, saying that it was a chief minister who instructed the police officers to act in a particular way now the thing is being still probed now i am asking the question supposing ultimately what he says comes true now are you going to hang all the 1000 policemen in gujarat it's no answer at all Uh, when large scale violence take place how many people are you going to uh, take for example the sikh riots uh, there is a, a large perception among the sikh community that it was a state apparatus also that failed so are you going to execute all the policemen in delhi it's not an answer many people who argue for death penalty for the most heinous of crimes don't realize that uh, life imprisonment without remission is also a tough punishment that 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 is uh, you know difficult to endure 
Absolutely. Uh, only difference is that you give the man a chance right. to reform right. and, and give back something to the society and say sorry ultimately, which may happen. So, in that sense, uh, society remains civilized and uh, does not replicate what the murderer has done in that Yes, sense. and you do not, you know, generate hate on a continuous basis. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a chain reaction. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thanks for your views on this subject.